Hi, this is AJ Cates with the uh, Apple AppCast. Um, today we're going to be going over an application called Net Newswire. I myself happen to use it to uh, read my RSS feeds every day. Um, right now I have a lot of unread feeds in it because uh, sometimes I get lazy with checking them. Um, Alright, in order to download this app, you go to just search for Net Newswire. Um, go ahead and click on the first link that pops up. It should link you over to the guys at NewsGator. They do make um, an RSS reader for Windows. I may check that out if you do use a Windows PC. Um, go ahead and click on the free download. Um, tell you thank you. Um, wait for your download to start within five seconds. Mine happens to already have been done and displaying the license agreement, which you could check out over here. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, agree with the licenses. It's going to go ahead and uh, install it or mount the disk image. Um, to install it, you know the standard procedure, drag this to your applications. I'm not going to do it because I happen to already use it. And I actually have a custom icon on mine that uh, I had replaced because um, I really didn't like their icon, so I wanted to give it a personal feel. It's a really easy procedure. If you just video search for it, you'll find a how-to. Um, see over here, we have all my unread feeds, which as you can see, my CSS showcase, like, I need to check out a lot of these um, just because, like, I fall behind on a lot of them. Um, it's very easy to read it. I'm able to navigate it with my keyboard. Um, one of the features I like is you can go down to Preferences, um, browsing, um, there's a bunch of different options that are available. You can have the dock icon show your unread count. Go ahead and make the dock a little bit bigger so you can see that. Um, I like to keep my dock kind of right about there. Um, software updates, you can customize everything. Posting, like what, how to use a Web blog, delicious, default browser, you can customize that. Fonts, the colors, syncing. Um, I really like the syncing with NewsGator. I happen to have an Apple iPhone myself, and they make an iPhone app that's compatible with this app, which I really like. Um, I don't want to start over. Downloading, you can check how often to download. Um, concurrent downloads. Um, you can have it add to your iTunes library, which is really cool. Um, downloads folder. Uh, options allow for a bunch of different items over here. Um, this allows you to organize and store and add new items and refresh things. It's like a miniature toolbar down there, which I kind of like. Over here, we have something called themes. And uh, we can make it red news. You see how it changes the theme, which I like. Um, I kind of wish they had a leopardish theme, but I use this tiger one. Um, I just like the blue because I like things that match the OS X feel. Um, you know, I really like the blue. I even have it on my dock. I've even got a custom dock. But uh, besides that, as a news reading application, I really like it. Uh, didn't assign myself any tasks to do for it because uh, I use it every day. Um, that was it's my Twitter latest news. It'll combine it all into one. Um, I kind of wish the views had a couple, like you can make the previews on the text bigger or something. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, you could refresh all, mark all feeds as read, add a new feed. Um, this back and forward navigation, which is kind of cool. Groups, I really like groups. And when it's all syncing to your iPhone, and I'm reading my news on the go. And I come back to this application. It has my feeds, and they're all marked and everything else. I can keep track of them, like Mac rumors, push notifications. That would be kind of cool. Um, you know, I could just check out different things. And actually, this has gone off and pulled in uh, some Safari things and actually I can um, open up a new tab and I can actually go to a website inside the RSS reader which is really cool and you can set it up so you only read things inside the web browser 
So I can go to something like google.com, um, which I find fantastic. Um, you know, you can hide the thumbnails, um, you can position tabs on top, you can use the thumbnails, which is kind of cool. I like how it integrated different views, um, post tabs to a web blog send to Twitter Riffic, which is really cool. Like it integrates with all these apps and it really feels like a strong OS X news reader. I rate this app nine out of 10. Um, well, yeah, nine out of 10. Um, I think they could have, could have made it better. I could have, I would have liked to see like a leopard theme. Um, the web browser, I would have liked it to see it to pull in my Safari bookmarks. Um, you know, also I would like to see it sync with, uh, Safari's RSS reader and their, uh, live bookmarks, um, which I think would be cool. Also, um, I wonder if I can view my RSS feeds online, which I'm about to find out. I've never even tried this. Um, not now. It's, uh, loading. And, uh, yeah, I can read my feeds online, which is, uh, actually kind of cool. I wonder if I could do settings and if they have themes. Something I would like to see. Extras. Um. Tools for developers. Um, it almost seems like they have an API. Newsgator people seem really cool. They have a Windows client, so if you do work with Windows computers, you can read your news on your Windows work computer, come home to your Macintosh, and have your news things all marked and everything else. It makes getting the news and staying up to date really easy. Um, you know, 609, I usually just go through and read everything that's uh, not the CSS showcase. Um, the news comes to you really fast. It downloads all the text. It'll download the pictures when you click on the item, which I really respect because text is cheap, uh, but it waits to download the picture, so it's easy on the bandwidth. You know, you can see text preview and it, you can see the date. Um, it saves quite a few. I don't know if it has an archiving feature to it at all. Um, you know, it's completely free. I'm not. A, I don't think it's open source at all. Um, but it's a wonderfully great um, newsreader. I don't know what else to say about it. All right. So uh, I think that's going to conclude our Apple Appcast. Um, you know, please subscribe to me. I'd appreciate that. And uh, leave a comment of any apps or anything you'd like to see a review of. All right. Thank you.